so we are going to discuss about the folder structure of a j2e web project okay for example we are going to create a project called e-commerce what we will do is we'll create a folder called e-commerce inside this folder we'll create another folder called web inf all in capitals web minus inf so we have to follow this actually and then we can have two other folders one is called classes and one is called lib so this is classes in small cases classes and lib and we have a xml here inside the web inf folder called web.xml this is called the deployment descriptor okay and we have two additional folders directly inside e-commerce this is optional just like you want to put JSP code this is JSP folder this is images folder okay so this classes inside this classes what you are going to keep all the compiled dot class files will go here all compiled dot class files of what of uh, your servlets or of java beans okay servlets java beans the lib folder here what do we keep the external library files the jar files and all okay all external library files external jar files like for example we are doing jdbc in our project okay and we are using mysql database so we need a driver mysql jdbc driver so we'll put that driver jar file into this folder okay now the web.xml this is called the deployment descriptor of your project deployment descriptor means it describes descriptor it is going to describe about all the components that we are going to use like servlets what is the servlet name where it is we are using a filter what is the filter name where it is all these things we are going to put within this descriptor file an xml file okay now this jsp this is optional actually you may put your jsp files directly within the jsp folder or directly within the e-commerce folder that's why i am drawing like this so you may put your jsps directly within the e-commerce folder or within the jsp folder which we had created an optional folder similarly if you want to use the images keep the images okay so images may also go like that images uh, like movie files clips and all these things static files you can put directly within the e-commerce folder or inside this images folder which you have created okay so after doing this you are going to deploy this project into our installed tomcat okay tomcat server for example we are using a tomcat server so what you will do is you will take this entire folder structure okay take this entire folder structure and put it within the web apps folder of tomcat when we install tomcat we have a web apps folder okay created so take this whole thing and put it within the web apps folder of tomcat and what is this called actually this procedure is called deployment deployment of the project and this deployment is actually of two types one is called split directory deployment and one is called war deployment split directory so this is the split directory like you take the entire folder structure and put it within the web apps folder of tomcat this is called split directory structure deployment and the other one is called war deployment war deploy so in that what happens you create a war file of this entire folder structure war is just like a gif okay like you can uh, use uh, your eclipse to generate the war file or you can have command line you have command line tools also through which you can create this war file of this folder structure put the war file directly within the web apps folder of tomcat okay so when do you use split directory split directory is generally used during development stage project development and war deployment is generally done during production environment 